All right, so here we are, you guys, at 3220. So kind of here's the mailbox. And it's going to kind of give you guys a full we'll walk around, but give you kind of a full idea of the neighborhood. And I'm going to look back into the sun here in a second, but there you go. So that's basically. But if you listen real closely, <laughs> so it's like I said, it's a super quiet street. It's just you know, this basically a one-way road. So let's go ahead on in and give you guys the tour. So it does have a kind of a nice atrium area here. So you can kind of see what the entranceway looks like, and that's all bricked in. Again, this is all concrete patioed out to there, so you know no issues with. You know, mulch and stuff growing up and through here and all that kind of stuff and light socket and it's got a storm door here on the front that actually locks right, come on in so here's kind of the entryways kind of give you an idea super high ceiling so there's this kind of nice tray ceiling here in the front and then the two bedrooms you know, the smaller two bedrooms will be right here to the right Again, kind of an idea of the fan. Again, it's got a high ceiling. Carpet, definitely, you know, older, not in terrible shape. You know, there's definitely a couple couple stains on the carpet. I mean, it's, it's really, like I said, it's not that bad. Something you could definitely live with for a while. And like I said, a good carpet cleaning. But there's in the first closet. And then it's come out here. And it looks like they put some decent handles newer updated kind of stock from stock handles first bathroom tile floor um, it does have the older builder wood but it's like updated faucet you know kind of the original hardware there <coughs> oh excuse me but the shower heads updated and you got your window here in the bathroom um, I can show you a trick to actually make these vanities look amazing um, and by the way, there's a, behind that door, there's a linen closet in here. So really good size there. And there's tons of room up top. It's kind of hard to show what the distance of there is, but that's pretty good size there. Some little nickety nag stuff like this, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but it's kind of popped out from the wall a little bit, the plate right there. So a little easy to update there, but around the corner here, there's also kind of a little built-in shelf closet set up normally that would be kind of like a coat closet but they have a coat closet around the corner too so just kind of an extra linen closet area and again this is gonna be the second bedroom doesn't have the higher it's still high ceiling but doesn't have the vaulted type ceiling and then there are actually two side built-in closets of his and hers for your closets and again there's Basically, floor to ceiling there, so good bit of storage in that one. Again, it's got the built in shelving. Again, kind of give you an idea. And then, so, there's kind of again, just what's it look out? So, there's kind of the neighbor's walkway. We'll go out there and look around too, but just kind of view there to the neighbor's. All right, let's go on into the living room. So if you come out here, again, here's gonna be your cloak closet. So, got all that space in there for a good size coat closet. And then come on into the living space. So, just kind of, just crack the entryway here. So here's kind of, you know, where they've got TV kind of set up. So, and again, really high ceilings in here. I don't have my measuring tape on me because I was just coming from a couple of these showings that we were already knew what we were looking for. But so there's two sliders into the patio area. Uh, countertops are original, so definitely could do an upgrade and put some stone countertops in. They have done the updated on the lights here. So a couple things. This is more cosmetic, but the tape that covers your seams. You know, come up a little bit right there. It's just 
basically a patch of seam, nothing more than caulking and stuff coming up. But again, you can kind of see countertops are it, but all the appliances. So again, look fairly new and updated whirlpools. So kind of get an idea there. They're definitely used, but they're you know, it's like a barely used situation. So did have some dishes in here. It looks like they were just cleaning out here when the clean out happened. But again, the faucet. Get underneath here, kind of see what we're looking at. So in here, a lot of times we're looking for, you know, what's the wiring or the wiring? What's the, uh, you know, the uh, tubing look like and all that. We've kind of done that before. So yeah, it's kind of hard to see up in there. Let's see, let's see if I can get a little light. There we go. So kind of see what we're what we're working with there. Get around the corner there. But it looks, you know, fairly decent as far as there was a little bit of drip of water right there. Is that water? Yep, and that's active. So there is definitely some water and something dripping from somewhere. I'll call Nora because I know her, so she can take a look at it. Um, but again, nice fridge in here. Like I said, I don't know the age, obviously, but it looks be in really good shape. We got the ice maker here on the side going. So the, this then walks around the corner. So here's you know, mostly your entrance. So you got your laundry room. I'm gonna guess that these are actually conveying because they're still sitting here. So they got some cleaning supplies. You kind of see the shelving above washer and dryer area. Decent light there. Walls are pretty clean. Again, here's kind of the Plumbing looks like for washer and dryer area. It doesn't, there's not dust everywhere, but yeah, that's probably needs to be a little secure to the wall. And that's gonna walk out into the garage. So two car garage, there is a Louisville ladder here. So let's see how this sounds. So a lift master. Again, not the quietest one I've ever heard, but it's up and running. Again, this is definitely an older AO Smith, so that would be something to, to find out. If you can find the serial numbers on these, you can look it up and it'll tell you typically the year. And I can't tell you right this second what it is. And they obviously haven't written it on there, but this is definitely an older AO Smith for sure, because it's now a green label and that's not the green one. So that would definitely be, but there is a uh, utility sink out here, which is a sweet feature, honestly. We don't have one of those, I'm a little jealous. So again, you got your panel over there on the wall. Normally also you'll see your water shutoff valve right here. I don't see it right accessible, but it might be up top over there too. I mean, something obviously we look for an inspection. So this would be your most likely way in. So you would come in, you know, from the garage and basically you're coming into the kitchen area. Again, the cabinetry, we just actually painted a white cabinet coat is what you use. It's about a $70 a gallon paint, um, but a coat of that. And then the primer is about 50 bucks a gallon. So probably two gallons of each and you can pull these down and paint them and they look amazing. And it, you transform this kitchen in a white kitchen pretty easily. So again, you got kind of like a, a little dining space here off the deck, off the deck, off the kitchen. So kind of spin around here, kind of give you the full view. So, I mean, again, the living room, this is actually enormous. Um, so you definitely have to get creative on space. Here they do have the plug for the floor plug. So most likely you're gonna have, you know, your couch, you know, somewhere in this range, you know, TV on the wall over here. Um, that, you know, would be for uh, like an end table. So you've got an end table with a lamp. You could plug that into the floor or run another one from both sides of the couch underneath the couch. So you have access for lamps, things like that in the living room. Uh, we'll go outside in a second. So here's going to be the master bedroom. So come on in. So just kind of full view to the right. You've got your closet, walk-in closet. And here's going to be, again, this does too also have like a tray ceiling up top here. 
And then, so come on into the closet. So again, got some built-in shelving already. And then this is gonna be got another hatch up top here. Not sure, obviously, if there's flooring or anything up there, but a lot of them do have flooring on both sides, so you've got more storage in there. So I'm just kind of give you an idea there, just kind of the distance. And then here's the master bathroom. So you got the dual vanities. Same thing, you know, the older older cabinetry, but you can actually do a pretty good job of making that look amazing. Let me get you a little light on up in here for the plumbing. So don't see any kind of active leak stuff, but there's an idea of the plumbing. What we're looking at there, so that's really clean, obviously, right there. That's that's probably been replaced not so long ago. Uh, probably when they redid the um, they've got some really nice mirror. Let's turn that off. Yeah, so they don't have like the builder grade mirror. They've got a two split mirror set up and the nicer, which will light bulb out. I will tell you the stopper here is, I looked at that, stopper's just not hooked up probably, but that stuck or a little metal slide came off. And then you do have a nice big mirror or a nice big window too above the tub area. So, and then in this corner, I can't, they, they definitely patched something up over here. Um, so we would definitely do some inspecting on what that could have been. Um, and as far as your stand-up shower, so can't answer Delta faucet there. And then you know, kind of an expendable shower head there. And they've obviously done some, some new stuff there. You got your putter's wrap or uh, plumber's wrap around that. Got the commode, and these are self-arresting toilet seats. Toilet flush, and then you got the self, self-arresting toilet seat there. Just some stuff around the, definitely some corrosion there around these. Just so you can kind of see, so you know, both of both the sinks on and the toilet flushing. And a pretty good water pressure there. So that's going good. Um, and then come on out. We'll go out here to the backyard and kind of do a walk around the outside. So pop that open. So you get your sliding glass door, and then it is an enclosed patio. Let's have the, the screened in sliding glass door. There are some hooks up here, so they obviously probably had a bench sitting in this corner over here. So it had like a little swinging bench over here in the corner. And then just to kind of give you an idea, there is the enclosed section. So really long enclosed patio and just from inside the patio, I'll just be quiet. So again, got that. So we've obviously got the outdoor patio area here that they've you already put some pavers in on. You know, some little stuff here, knickknacks. You know, kind of rusted door actuator on your on your door. Lock does work. So there's your door. It's gonna be like looking into the sun here. So they do actually. It looks like uh, an in-ground sprinkler system because that's your valves for. Looks like they've got a four zone sprinkler system so we could figure out that and i'll see that on the side of the house here pretty soon so you've got a gate on this side we'll go around there to the front but so you've got a gate there and then again coming out here to the back of the yard let's see what so this is kind of the the water runoff between the two houses so you can kind of see how the water is going to run off and that just prevents, it looks like they got some tubing out here that the farm's probably, you can kind of see how the water prevents actually the erosion, having those directed flows with the rocks too. So you can kind of see what the backyard and everybody's got going here in the back. So I'll kind of spin around. And again, kind of get an idea of the back of the house. And we'll come out to this side. So this is something that I personally 
uh, I actually don't like. I'll just tell you, but they do not actually have a gate access on this side. I personally like, you know, for cutting grass and stuff like that, if I'm gonna do it myself, I actually would have put a gate on this side as well. So that way you've got, you know, dual access. So if, you know, you cut to this part of the grass, you don't have to go all the way around the back of the house, you know, the other way to come over to this side, you know, with two gates, which is an easy fix. You can definitely add a gate in here, but just little stuff like that, that, you know, I like to think about. So that way you're not having to go, go kind of all the way back around. So we're going to go all the way back around. <laughs> so come on this way. And hopefully the gate is actually not locked, which some of these, they actually lock them if it's for sale. So people obviously can't get back here and mess around. So I might have to go around anyway. Oh, no, nope, it's open. Good. So actually, there we go. So there's our gate lock. Cool. And so there we go. So there's kind of the side yard and the neighbors actually have these hedges up kind of between you guys. So you've got kind of privacy between your screened in porch and their their house there so we got the trash can hiding we got a fence already up for that so no violating hoa policies there so here's the outside handler air temp actually have not heard of them but there's a dead giveaway that there is a sprinkler system here obviously we have to check it out make sure how how well it's working but there's the capital irrigation box and then of course all your power for your goodies there so a rapid shutdown system, which is going to be your solar. I see all that action there. Which again, we'd have to double check on, make sure we're good. And your regular junction boxes for Time Warner Cable and everybody. So here, we're just going to give you an idea kind of at the roof. So it's kind of, again, not knowing the age of the roof, but an in inspection and all that, we would definitely obviously be checking out. Um, but those panels are going to be on this other side. So go over here. Uh, this happens actually with the, the sun. You know, this is going to be basically setting into your windows. So these are definitely faded out. Um, so we've actually painted those on ours. We face the same direction as far as the sun goes. So that fades pretty quick. So just something that those actually come off. I actually have like a little screen that I use and just leave them up and paint them around the screen. Pretty easy. But then here's the side of the house that's gonna have the solar on it. So kind of give you an idea. Oh, there might even be a couple more. So here's three more irrigation control valves. So that looks like there might be seven, seven zones. I thought four zones would be kind of a, a bit light. But here's the, again, the solar. And I obviously just have to figure out what, what the scoop is on that. Looks like there's some some pollen already forming on these, so obviously you want to keep those cleaned off, obviously to collect as much of the sun. And then here's another uh, water spigot. And that kind of comes around to the back to the other side. So, all right, I'll leave you with some palm trees. Talk to y'all soon.